Well, with the start of summer also comes the start of a new summer season for the Paul Bunyan Playhouse. Our Josh Peterson found that with the hiring of a new artistic director comes a new vision and a new energy. Learning choreography, running lines, and tech rehearsals means that it's crunch time and no one feels that pressure more in theater than a show's director. This year, the Paul Bunyan Playhouse enters its 66th season beginning Wednesday. With that new summer stock launch comes a new creative vision and direction with its new artistic director. Our intention is, um, to be honest, is, is to entertain. I mean, that's the whole point of, you know, especially in these months when people are on vacation, you're getting tourists. Uh, so that's, hope, that's what we're hoping to do. A new artistic director isn't the only new face at the Playhouse. Director Jim Williams also brought along a major player in his support staff, his wife, who will be acting as the Paul Bunyan Playhouse's new company manager. Together, they plan to bring to the Bemidji stage a series of new and familiar faces. Nice mix of, of new faces and old faces and uh, complementing each other too, working together in that way. So I definitely think it's important to bring back veterans of the Playhouse. With opening night approaching and finishing touches being completed on Altar Boys, one thing is certain, this summer stock season at the Playhouse offers something for everyone. All the shows are comedies. Uh, most of them are family, family friendly comedies. We've got two musicals. And I'm of the mind, if it's not broke, you know, don't try to fix it. The debut of Alter Boys, a musical comedy that follows a Christian boy band on the last night of their final tour, will set the tone for the summer of comedies that are planned for the Bemidji stage, offering comedy for all tastes throughout the season. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Tickets for Alter Boys as well as tickets for other shows this summer are available at thechieftheater.com. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.